house is further worried that alongside human toll, the financial costs are also escalating on energy. Also escalating on energy. And they're hurting the growth of the economy. The crisis is potentially fueling instability as uh, witnessed in some parts of the country yesterday, specifically in MENA, Niger State. Strong and swift policy action is needed to mitigate the food crisis, cost of standard living, and human suffering. There must be conducive environment created by government for, to encourage diaspora remittances and investment by investors from within and outside the country. And that is only possible if we have serious security measures on ground that can attract these investors to come and invest so that there will be improvement in our GDP. A lot needs to be done. As a government, we derive our sovereignty from the people, but the same people who gave us that sovereignty are impoverished, they are living in poverty, they are living in penury, the people are sad, the country is not happy. And the primary purpose of government, including all of us here sitting, is to bring joy and happiness to Nigerians. I'm sure that some of us find it even difficult going home because of the circumstances and the condition we find ourselves in Nigeria today. Yes, you might not be directly in charge of the situation, but you are part of the government. And the least we can do is to say the truth to power and struggle to see how we can assist the executive arm, the judicial arm, the security agencies to improve the situation in our country.